good morning. There's nothing quite like mornings in the desert. Just seeing the sandstone come to life around you. Perfectly, perfectly peaceful night. Uh, I mean, there were times when I would wake up and just not hear a sound. No wind, no water from the Escalante, nothing. Just, just so peaceful last night. Well, I got a little bit cold. Um, but never cold enough to get out of my sleeping bag and put on more layers. So, had a good night's sleep. We've got breakfast made back there. Uh, it's about 7.30. We're going to hit the trail after we eat. Got some river crossings right off the bat, so that'll be cold. But uh, just a full day of exploring the canyon and uh, hopefully getting some photographs. It's supposed to be really, really windy today. So, that'll make it a bit challenging. But just a day dedicated to hiking and photography which is one of my favorites so uh, we'll get the day started cannot describe the stress I'm having right now walking in a sandy river. Uh, last time I did this, we had some not so great moments. Um, but this is actually quite comfortable. It is just sand, not quicksand so far. And uh, yeah, if you're used to doing the narrows, this is not so bad. So uh, we've got a pretty clear bend in the river up here. So I think we're gonna hop back on land, but yeah, so far so good. <laughs> and behind me, you can see the mouth of Neon Canyon. Oh, that was just a fun little stroll through what's really a unique canyon, Escalante. The uh, river flows through the canyon. It's very wide. Uh, so it's, it's a unique canyon experience. And then what's really cool is yesterday, flying over it, kicked a rock, flying over it, we got to see how it really narrows going into Lake Powell. So that was fun to see from up above, but I'm going to scramble into the canyon here. Our ultimate goal is the Golden Cathedral at the end, but uh, we'll see what we've got along the way. Fun little hike this morning. adjectives to describe this place. This is the Golden Cathedral and I just think yesterday we were above it looking down at those potholes. So what happened is there's this shelf at the end of the canyon and over time water eroded down through the shelf and created these holes. I'll show them to you from below in a second. But it's the end of the canyon. For the past hour, we've had it about to ourselves. There's some more people coming, no big deal. It's a popular spot, but to just think something like this exists, that water wore through those holes, and then here in about an hour or so, it's gonna catch perfect reflected light to, uh, to make an image. So I've set up the classic shot behind me um, for when the light gets good. And there's another reflection shot in that pool back there that I can get at just about any time in black and white. Behind us, 
what's illuminating all this is what's blown out at the top. The sun is catching that wall. And as the sun works its way, where am I? Down that wall, it illuminates more and more of this. You can see it's starting to get, uh, the light's even better now than when we got here 30 minutes ago. But it was worth it just to, just to see this, if anything. Getting a photograph is just kind of the icing on the cake. I still hope it turns out though. I'm going with a wide angle shot, vertical. Like I said, just classic stuff here. And once I get that, we'll explore and see what other things we can photograph. vlogging is going to have to do it for this segment. Um, this beautiful desert varnish wall behind me uh, is catching all of that light up there. And it's just really made it glow strongly. We've got some thin clouds up above, but it's still not enough to uh, keep the sun from punching through and letting this, uh, letting this light up behind me. So yeah, I'm on the GoPro here. My big camera is down canyon but I had to get this quickly because the wind is supposed to really kick up today and obviously we've got leaves back there fortunately it's a relatively flat plane so I didn't have to stop down much um, I took two shots one wide angle to get several trees down there and then uh, one closer in and my exposure time was one second and a half a second for those so really didn't have to uh, didn't have to wait for the wind that much but it's really supposed to kick up today, so I wanted to get this quickly. I shot my allotment of four sheets of Velvia, so I'm going to head back up Canyon to the Golden Cathedral and uh, see what the light's doing there and maybe switch out some film. So, successful start to the day. I've taken five sheets on four scenes. There's another black and white reflection shot up there I want to get, but uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to shoot as much and as quickly as possible uh, while still trying to maintain quality because I don't know when I'll be back here. It's a pretty strenuous hike, but good, good start to the day. It is only, well, it's 11.08, so working quickly. Three scenes already. Let's see what else we can get. While I wanted to continue to explore and photograph Neon Canyon that day, Mother Nature had other plans. The wind arrived right on schedule and no amount of patience was going to make the leaves stop moving that afternoon. So Tommy and I packed up our gear and returned to camp, content with the photographs we made that morning. Even though the day was cut short and the canyon was sometimes crowded, it was an extremely rewarding day of photography. I was able to come away with two shots that I really enjoy. The first was Golden Cathedral itself. Now let's not pretend I reinvented the wheel with this composition. But some things are so beautiful, they simply cannot be improved upon. After taking the iconic shot, I tried to take advantage of the morning light and the stunning desert varnish. My first shot fell a touch short though. I had to make too many compromises compositionally on the lower border, and the varnish isn't cleanly vertical on the left hand side. It's not terrible, and might have even made the portfolio, if not for my final shot of the day. Sometimes it all just clicks. When you combine Fuji Velvia, reflected light, and a simple composition, this is the result. And who knows, to some, maybe it's not a great image. But for me, it's everything I strive for as a photographer. Viewing this on a light table immediately transported me back to the canyon on that beautiful fall day. I hope that it can bring you a tiny slice of Utah as well.
How sketchy was that takeoff for you? This landing's gonna be a challenge too. Somewhere in one of these little fingers down here is an airport. <laughs> I swear. I'm having to earn this trip, Tommy. 